Now he's one of our favourite Scots who sends pulses racing as the star of Outlander. Well, in his latest role, Sam Hewen is about to head deep underground as he finds himself at the centre of an explosive situation. Oh, this looks really good. Sam joins us now. Good morning to you. Hey, guys, how you doing? All good. Very good, thank you. So, I mean, there is no doubt that this is an action film. However, you say it's slightly different because you get into the mindset of the characters a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, I think on the surface, it looks like a, um, it looks like an action movie, but, you know, it's so much more. It's based on Andy McNabb's great uh, best-selling books, and, and he is a character, such a fascinating man. He uh, He's a professed... Uh, good psychopath, and that's what the character Tom is as well. So, a uh, real character study. Which means that um, your character Tom is not known for his boundless empathy. Yes, he's, you wouldn't say he's like the most uh, empathetic man, but uh, you know, he, he's learned to function in society, and um, he's probably quite charming, um, quite outgoing. But yes, during the course of the movie, he realizes that no, he's always known there's something wrong with him, and during the course of the movie, he, he finds out that ah. That explains everything. That's why I'm, I'm this way. And uh, we might, or he does encounter other other psychopaths um, in the movie, including Ruby Rose, who um, her character, who is uh, who's fantastic in, in this movie. So um, Andy McNabb was, was on set and he was always there to sort of offer help and, um, with it. Tom, your character, things happened to him that actually happened to Andy in real life. Yeah, and Andy gave us some great access to, you know, his life, his his um, experiences in the military, and also some really random stuff as well. I mean, he, he is, as he said, a, self, uh, a good psychopath, and he's learned to to be outgoing and gregarious and, and to sort of function in society. But yeah, he, he does find situations where he doesn't really know how to react or, or how to act. And one of them inc includes when his wife's cat died, he, he decided to put it in the fridge to preserve it. And, um, yeah, it's a very, very strange. Wow. Thoughtful. <laughs> I mean, to do yeah, what with guy. it? But yeah. why? Why, put, why do that? <laughs> I, think he, I, think, I think he wanted to preserve it. They were going on holiday and, and he didn't have time to bury it. So he thought, well, let's put it in the fridge to preserve it till we come back. And wow. she had to tell him that that's not, 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 not what normal. people do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, no, fair, fair enough fair advice. Enough. Um, the, uh, the, the funny, because the, the film plays into, I think, all my mother-in-law's greatest fears, and she hates being in enclosed spaces. <laughs> we, we took the family to, to Disney World, Disneyland in Paris, and going under the Channel Tunnel was terrifying for her. But to stop the train underneath there as part of it, I mean, that plays to a lot of people's really big fears. Yeah, it's really interesting. And to know that actually underneath... Um, the Channel Tunnel, there, you know, there's all of these pipelines, you know, there's um, gas lines that come from France to the UK and vice versa. And there's also these um, emergency tunnels. There's a, there's a lot actually under that we don't know about. Um, but these mercenaries do know about it and they're there to, to blow up the pipeline. So um, thankfully, Tom is, is on the train on his way to Paris and uh, saves the day. Well, that's um, SAS Red Notice. That's on Sky Cinema from March 12th. Also, which is on at the moment, is um, this is to Olivia. And this has got Hugh Bonneville in it and Keely Hawes as well. And you're playing uh, director Paul New Newman in this. What was it like playing a real character? Yeah, I play the actor Paul Newman. And uh, he's such an icon, isn't he? I mean, such a brilliant actor and, and, and stunning looking man. Yeah, just to be uh, in this movie was great. It's about Roald Dahl and Patricia Hill. Blink and you miss me, but um, it was a great challenge to to play him. And, um, yeah, I hope I did him service because he was a great guy. And uh, Men in Kilts currently on Stars with uh, with your mate, Graham McTavish. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and we've been, we've talked about this before, but it didn't go out. So, finally, it's, the, it's, it's on the telly. Finally, yes, the, the camper van has arrived. And yes, it's on in the US and Canada at the moment. And it's, um, we're working on the UK release, which should be quite soon. But um, it's been really fun. You know, it was a, a little road trip around Scotland in, in our camper van. And uh, yeah, I, th I think people are enjoying it. Well, I think the thing is with that is that certainly uh, for the Scottish Tourist Board will be extremely yeah. grateful when things finally do open back up again. That's a, that's a big market over there to come over and, uh, and, and, and have a look at Scotland as tourists. I think right now, you know, people can't travel and, and certainly what maybe the show can do is show that you don't need to go abroad. You can literally, as long as you've got a good traveling companion, you know, go on a road trip and the characters and the people you meet and the places you'll see are, you know, there's, there's so much on our doorstep. So 
um, Britain is a, a great place to, to explore. And are you filming Outlander at the moment? Yes, we are, Holly. We haven't got you up yet. I know. I know. One day. We will. One day. When we can. <laughs> how far into can, it? Yeah. How far into it are you? We started in January, and it's going well. You know, it's obviously a bit tough with with the COVID protocols, but also the weather in Scotland has been pretty horrendous. Uh, the snow has been bad, but it feels like spring is finally here. You know, there's there's hope around the corner. But also, you know, with uh, f filming the, the show, um, incredibly cold weather, good time for a little tot of whiskey. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you'd, you'd mention that. Yes, um, as you know, I do love a, a bit whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will, I will. Good. So this is, this is Assassin's. This is one awards, hasn't it? It has, yes. Yeah, we released last year and uh, it's won two gold medals and, and I'm really very proud of it. Um, so I'll get you a bottle, both. As you should be. That. Yeah, no, that's, so. that's very proud. First year of, uh, of, a, of a new whiskey and you're winning awards. Well yeah, done. Not um, going. It's lovely to talk to you, as always. Um, principally, SAS Red Notice is available on Sky Cinema from March the 12th. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Cheers. See ya. Bye.